Welcome back, guys, to a beautiful fall Friday. I guess Friday afternoon, Sabbath evening, and we woke up to a hard frost this morning. Uh, it was the first time we were in the teens. I think it got down to about 16 or 17, so really cold. So what a perfect day uh, to come out and do a little forestry today. So we had a storm that came back or came through not too long ago. Um, and knocked down several of the grand furs uh, that I knew were sick, but I didn't realize how bad they were. And they've just been dropping around here like dominoes. So we're gonna gather these all up um, and uh, cut them up and uh, process them into firewood. And I thought you guys might uh, enjoy the, the journey. So come and hang out and uh, let's get to work. We'll set a choker on here so we can pull it out over into a clearing and then bucket into it. its lengths. I've got to cut them kind of short because there's so many trees in here that they you can't fit between the trees. So eight feet, ten feet is about as ma about max. Walk these off four paces. It's probably about 12 feet or so.
allow me to interrupt the show just for a second. I want to uh, say thank you to all the new members and welcome and to all of the, those of you who have been subscribing to the membership for, for so long now. It's going on a year now. Guys are starting to get their Loctite icons, you can see. So if you see guys with stars or icons that are members of the channel. I have something special for you guys. I've just uploaded, if you check your email, there'll be a link over there, um, a detailed video on my war belt that you might find interesting. So if you'd like to see that, uh, we invite you to join a membership. You can go to my channel page, and we're trying to move off of that ad-based monetization and get to more of a uh, where you guys support directly so we can do what we want to do say what we want to do it gives us a lot more freedom so thanks for watching and we'll see you guys over on the other side I pile those branches on top of the stumps. That way you don't accidentally run over it and tear a bunch of hydraulic lines out of the bottom of your tractor. And the chipmunks and the squirrels, they like it. It's rough to be a ground animal in the forest. You, you get no relief. You got the, uh, the hawks and the eagles in the daytime that are constantly after you and then the owls at night. <laughs> I put these little piles up. There are branches all over the place, and I, I, I kind of imagine uh, that uh, at nighttime they're just going from like fire base to fire base <laughs> to, to try to limit their exposures. But uh, yeah, so clean as you go, just like a pro when you're working on your yard and your forest and stuff like this. I used to, uh, I made the mistake years ago, I, I got so excited about cutting the trees down that I'd cut the trees down and buck them up into lengths and leave all the branches lie. Well, that builds up and builds up, and then after 10 or 20, now you've got a lot of branches to pick up. So usually if you take about 15 minutes after you take a tree down and buck it up and um, clean up the branches, uh, put them in a little pile, then it doesn't, uh, it doesn't add up on you and, and make your life miserable in the future. It's a shame, you know, that's, and also that's how we prevent forest fires. You know, what's, what's so sad is that in the, I guess it was probably in the maybe late 70s or early 80s, when they had the big spotted owl scare and, and that was pretty much the end of logging in our national forests. And look now what, what's become of it. You know, they blame it on glo global warming and all that. That's all nonsense. So we, we know the truth of the matter is that they're not being managed. 
you don't have um, guys in there, you know, clearing and cutting brush. The solution is so simple. All you'd have to do is put it out to contract, let the local loggers bid on it and say, uh, take one and leave one. Take a tree and leave a tree. We've got specialized equipment now that can, two guys can, can creep into a forest um, and selectively harvest trees um, and not, uh, n not touch the other ones and they don't um, press the ground down and hurt the roots. The technology is there and you wouldn't even have to spend millions and millions on tax dollars putting these fires out. If you just let those guys go in and they could make a profit, we could supply the world and ourselves with the finest lumber in the whole world. and It would just be win, win, win. But that's just, that would be just be logical, wouldn't it? Yeah. Well, all we can do is take care of our own, right? Well, thanks for watching. That's one down. Four more to go. I probably bored you enough for the day, so uh, don't forget, Sabbath starts this evening at sunset. I'm looking forward to it. Two more hours, and then a day of rest. So uh, I, I do invite you to keep the Sabbath. It'll be a blessing to you, you and your families, and uh, I promise. So keep us in your prayers. May God bless you and your families, and we'll see you guys on the next video. Thank you.